get in this video let's go ahead and do a like challenge we got a horn right here it is a commercial military grade horn off an aircraft carrier as you guys know I got some real dickhead neighbors in Florida they'll complain about my truck idling middle of the day doing nothing wrong and one of them even apologized to me because he was in the wrong but he continued to be a dickhead eh, I wouldn't say dickhead nah definitely dickhead anyways 10,000 likes we'll let this horn rip in the neighborhood it is a ear shattering horn i mean it is unbelievable you guys will see here in the video we aren't at its full potential just yet you guys will see but nonetheless it is super loud um so let's make it happen guys one more thing guys these hats people have been asking about the hats link is in the description dirtymaxmafia.com got different colors we got black charcoal gray red uh, we got like a tan color um, yeah, go check them out. We got t-shirts as well, decals, really good quality stuff. Go pick yourselves up one or 60 of them, whatever, 100, 200, 1,000 of them, whatever. But yeah, go check them out. All right, boys, we are rolling. Uh, we are on our way to go get something very, very exciting for the channel. Um, some people may not like this, but we are going to, as you guys can tell by the title, obviously, what we're doing. About an eight-hour drive to go get this thing. It is a air horn, big commercial military-grade horn off of a uh, an older ship that's retired and uh, I'm going to pick it up right now it is a Collenberg s120 Triton and it is absolutely massive I mean we're talking like and you guys are gonna see it obviously when we look but I'm going to get it right now it weighs about 400 pounds um, this is a horn that is used on most aircraft carriers I'll keep you guys updated along the way and uh, yeah we'll see you guys when I get there so <laughs> mini vans <laughs> mini van. 20 foot boat and minivan. He puts a lot of trust in that sucker. And don't have that on your trailer. And don't have that on your trailer. <laughs> Big yellow penis. Don't have it. We captured it. It's right around 400 pounds. Um, that easy, you guys see that forklift lifting it in there. Now we gotta figure out how to get that thing running. It should be fairly simple. Of course, I'm gonna go over how it kind of works with you guys once we get back home, once we get it out of this truck and into my truck. We're gonna go figure that out. Here's a Kallenberg S120. It's a electric air piston horn. What that means is, here's a big motor right there. It's a seven and a half horsepower electric, 440 volt, three phase motor. And that gear on the end of it turns this, this crankcase, it's got a piston in it. That piston, once you turn this gear, it spins at a high rate, that piston goes up and down, shoots air at a very high rate through here. That's what creates the super loud, deep tone. Yes, this is a standard horn on an aircraft carrier, cruise ship. Um, this is a fairly old horn, I wanna say it's from the 80s, maybe even the 70s. Um, they don't make this horn anymore, and so it's kinda hard to get parts, so I'm kinda improvising and doing my own thing. We're gonna get this thing running for sure, I know that, but we're not gonna use in that motor anymore. 440 volts is not easy to get in a truck. But what is easy to get in a truck is air, um, air compressors, stuff like that, okay? My goal is to use this nut on the end here with an impact and spin that thing at a super high rate to be able to create that same RPM that that motor does. So that motor has a 41 tooth gear on the end of it. The motor spins at 3,500 RPMs. This is a 26 tooth gear right here. So if you do some math, you're right around, I think I think it's 5,500 RPMs you wanna spin this to create that same noise. I'm hoping that that math works out, but that's what we're doing right now. I was able to find this for a really good deal. It's off a retired ship. Um, I don't know exactly what ship it's off of. We got this new hose. The one I got over there is a uh, 50 footer. This is like a six foot, I believe, or less. Maybe, yeah, probably less. No, six foot. So we're using the six foot three eighths hose. Here's our goal. Use the air out of this to power this. We got a smaller line now, well, shorter line. Same uh, diameter as that one. So it's gotta push less, less air to the gun. We're gonna see if that works. I think we can make it work. Um, if it's if it doesn't work, we're gonna figure out something to make it work, guys. I didn't get that thing for no reason. Obviously it won't be a permanent thing in the truck. It's too tall and too big. Someone will probably steal it. It sticks up like this far above the bed. It's huge. That's what she said. 
It literally weighs like 350 pounds. We actually had to disassemble it to get it out of the bed of the rental truck. Um, the guy that loaded the thing had to use a forklift, of course. The motor probably weighs 150 pounds by itself. Not easy to move around and not really ideal for keeping in my truck long term, but we are gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. I may get in trouble using it, but it's gonna be awesome. You guys know those big, deep tones you hear on cruise ships and uh, aircraft carriers, stuff like that. I'll put a clip up. That's exactly the horn we have right now. You don't see them very often because they're so damn expensive. Uh, of course, this is an older, retired one. Go ahead and get started. Let's get everything ready to go to give this thing a shot. So we are back in the truck. It started raining, so we had to put a halt to the rest of the day. Um, I think it's supposed to rain the rest of the day, so that kind of sucks. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. I've had this has been my plan for a long time now. Actually, a couple, three, four months, I would say, at least three months. And uh, I've been, it's kind of been in the works, and it hasn't been 100%. And we made it happen. I drove eight hours from here, went and got it. Um, yeah, it worked out great. Going into buying this horn, I knew there was going to be some modifications I didn't, I needed to make to make it work because it is a, a three-phase motor, and I just figured I wasn't going to use the motor, and I was going to find a way to make it work without that. And we are very close to making that happen. Of course, it's not a really uh, permanent way of doing it, of course, but it is going to work, and I'm going to find a way to make it to where I can actually use it in the truck as I'm driving and everything. I don't want to hurt someone while they're driving, so. I'll, I won't be doing it in traffic and stuff. That's just not me. I don't want to risk people's lives because this thing is that loud, guys. Um, I don't want to cause someone to have a heart attack, nothing like that. Um, in my neighborhood, that's fine. If there's no one right next to me, I'll do it in the neighborhood, of course. Uh, I have that like challenge. <laughs> uh, if we can make that happen, I will do it in the neighborhood. I'm not, gonna, I'm not doing it to hurt anyone, uh, but my neighbors are, are dickheads, and uh, they want to keep playing games. I can show them loud. This truck ain't loud. Uh, one of the neighbors had a straight pipe GTO. That was super loud. And so um, no one complained about that, but if they want to hear loud. I can make loud happen, and that's exactly what this horn is made for. So um, you know, I, I'm I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I'm pretty respectful, but uh, if, I, if people want to you know harass me over stupid stuff like that, then uh, bring it on. But anyways, bought it because it's gonna be fun, and I figured you guys would love it. So that's why I got it, guys. Um, it's gonna be some do some awesome videos. Maybe we'll do some like horn battle with my truck versus a big ship, which I'm kind of in the works of making that happen. Once we get this thing dialed in, I'm gonna make it happen before I leave and go back to Florida because there's a lot more ships up here in Michigan where we're at. So um, that's the goal for now. I think it's gonna be hilarious. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys what it sounded like in my truck and me driving around with it, but I just, I literally could not wait to show you guys. I didn't wanna make you guys wait any longer for content. I haven't been able to post as frequently as I wanted to this summer. Obviously family's first. Um, I got married this summer, but then shortly after my grandpa passed away, and also thank you guys for all the support on that. It means, it means the world to me, so thank you guys. It's been definitely a roller coaster of a summer, but uh, I'm doing my best to get you guys content. So that's why I'm getting this video out to you guys. Hope you guys are as excited as I am for this. We have a lot of huge, huge things planned for the Duramax, and this is not even, I'm not even talking about this yet. Um, we got a new wrap coming. We got uh, a solid axle swap we're doing on the Duramax. We got some big things planned for the Cummins. So um, big things happening this year. I'm gonna be going to SEMA. Um, also, we got, we're bringing on a big tool sponsorship. Um, Monday, I should be uh, finding more about that. So I'm super excited about that as well. Um, but yeah, you guys already seen it, of course, but there it is, just chilling right outside the window there. That yellow is right there, that's a heat gun. There it is, the big horn, big Kallenberg horn. It is no joke, guys. We're gonna have a blast of this. So if you guys are new to the channel and this is your first time watching, I highly recommend you at least consider subscribing. Uh, we have a lot of fun things planned, and just know I do post more frequent than I have been. This has just been a weird, a weird summer for me. So I'll be getting back to about three times a week. I'll be posting and uh, keep you guys updated on all the builds, and of course, have some fun content planned for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. For all the veterans of the channel that have been following along, hope you guys are excited, and all you new people, I hope you are excited as well, because uh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be absolutely amazing, and like I said. I got another one I'm looking for. I'm trying to find another one that's a pure air horn. And maybe we'll put that in the Cummins and we'll keep this one in the Duramax. Who knows? We'll see. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>